some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and Keith and I are continuing role player adventures. We are now in Adventure 5. We are halfway there. Oh, There's gang. 10. Yeah. Gang. Hell yeah. 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 Crack in coal back. So, there's the little little cover. There's the cover. Escape a prison. A lot of, a lot of coal bulbs. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so what we leveled up, we increased our play, our bonus play limit again. Uh, our combat dice limit, so now we're at four. Our so mastery can... track, which yep. I increased dex. I also increased dex. And then your health by one. Yep. Oh, I forgot to do that. So you show you're at 19, yep. and I'm at 20. Uh, um, but yeah, my stre I, my attributes go 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. Mine are 3, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1. Pretty good, pretty good average. And then we bought you. A I got a chain f fold, another chain cha fold, another chain piece. Yeah, sweet. Uh, we had twenty one experience after the last last thing, yep. so yep. it was pretty dope, pretty dope and cool. All right, your adventure begins. King Terran has escaped to another plane, and you stand accused of his murder. After a short trial, whose verdict was never in doubt, you are sent to Colback Prison to await your execution. When you arrive, Warden Mercy and three of her construct guards strip you of your weapons and clothes. One guard pours a bucket of cold water over your head. Another brands your shoulder with the symbol of crossed keys. They press an itchy gray uniform into your hands and leave you to recover in your cell. If you're playing with one or two players, each player remove all armor, scroll, and weapon cards. Right. Armor, scroll, so familiar stay, weapon, I guess artifacts weapon. stay, objects stay. Traits, skills, trait, weapon, skill, trait, trait. Okay. It's a good thing I just went through all mine. Right. Remove all armor, scroll, and weapon Yeah, cards from your hand and set them underneath the Warden Mercy. Oh, goodness. Right. Okay. Here, just like, I'm, a, I'm just going to do that. That's perfect. So we know who has Man, what. that's like all my best cards. <laughs> Luckily, I'm literally all traits and skills. I, ha I mean, I have artifacts and traits. I only have one skill. If any player has no cards in their hand, return one of their non-weapon cards from beneath mercy. Okay. Almost everyone detained here is a, is a Dragul prisoner of war. They are not fans of the King's Guard. Many hurl insults or shout death threats as you are escorted to your cell and locked up for the night. You find a few simple beds, one already occupied by an orc, sound asleep. Faintly scratched into the stone wall just above it, you discover markings written in Dragul common. Peeling one of the mattresses back, you discover a chisel hidden underneath. The artist must have used it to scratch their message into the wall. So we reveal discovery card 98. Oh, we also have Shadow Boon. What does that do for us? Uh, during this adventure, the skill check dice limit is increased by one. Yeah. So it's like the exact opposite of what we had last time. Yeah, we're in the night, baby. This is all darkness. Yeah. Well, we're stronger. So we have a chisel. Oh, dope. <clears throat> Reveal rare card 30. Ooh. I think I'm going to hold on to that. It's the chisel. Oh, red. It yeah, is, it is literally on. a one-time use. Oh, gosh. Find your party marker. Oh, no. We, so we're in A, and then read entry A. Read entry A. Okay. So, um, yep, collect the XP. Okay, the sun sets, and the lanterns of the prison are extinguished one by one. <laughs> Lights out! One of the construct guards yells. Soon, you are asleep in your bed, lost in a dream. A kobold warrior charges through a field of battle. He blows into a horn, made of white bone, rallying an army of Dragul warriors to his side. Somehow you know that this is Cathandor, or Cathandor, ancient commander of the invading Dragul horde. The immortal knight, the most famous hero in Nalos, charges forward under Queen Gimnax's banner. He leads a troop of halflings, dwarves, and elves. You find yourself impossibly trapped between two warring armies in a battle that took place over 2,000 years ago. All right, we can fight for the Dragul or fight for Nalos and the Queen. Oh, gosh. I feel like we should... Oh, man. I don't really want to fight for either. I know. I really want to just be right, right in between. You want to flip for it? Or so if we, were, if we were able to role play, since we're both in the middle... Yeah. Yeah, we are kind of. We right are of vampires. Fight. We are vampires. Which at puts this us point. to the Jagul, but we have a zero in the king's favor. 
It's mainly because we're also just trying to blend in yeah. to not be attacked by the king. Uh, but here's the thing. The king's fucking... The king's guard fucking put us in here. Yeah. And if this is filled with Dragul and stuff, uh, who knows? That might have repercussions where they help us. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go, let's go fight with the Dragul. Okay. There is something inspiring about Cathandor. The cry of his horn fills you with strength. Two soldiers, sensing your betrayal, charge forward to meet you in battle. Oh, okay. The Immortal Knight. Oh. And he has Nightmare. So this is 30, and then a guard, 26. This sounds doable. I'm just going to go ahead and set my chisel aside, because I don't want to use it in a dream. All right. Oh, God. We're going to lose, aren't we? Yeah. A lot. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? And he has Nightmare. He's on the cover of the role player box. After after rolling the dice pool, return all dice with values of two and four from the dice bag to the or from the dice pool to the bag. Oh, that's annoying. Man, let's. Do you want to change our side? Nope. Okay, so we get four. Okay. Dude, we're gonna get goofed on so hard here. Doesn't? Okay. So we get four dice. Yeah. He's got purple, white, black, and blue. I'm almost like I'm almost literally just thinking if we do one of each, we get purple we get purple, blue, and black. Okay. Purple, blue, and black. And then after, that sucks. It's after rolling the dice. If any of them are immediately a two or four, they just go away. Yeah. So if they don't roll that, then we can modify it, but then we're going to, I mean, any color is going to help us. Yeah. So red. Cool. Uh, okay. So none of them are okay. twos or fours. We can play with that. Um, oh my fuck, dude. It's also because we're limited on... Or stuff. Yeah. Um, I can change that red six into a red one. I can turn... Oh. Did we forget to heal? Uh, no, this is from... This is from what we just did. What did we just do? We just used that to get the... Black. Oh yeah, you're right. Black, <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, what the fuck is that? Um, I can add a black. Okay. I can. I can add a red white. We want to go ahead and do that just to have it. Yeah. Red, white, you yeah, said. Red, white. There it is. Okay, it's a five. Okay. That's pretty good, actually. Hey, there's a white five right there, there on the is. Immortal Knight. There is. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to use my gray matter to get any color. Okay. Black one. There's a black one on the guard. There is. Um, what is a, a two black fives or two blue fives on the Immortal Knight? Mm -hmm. I can turn either that black or that blue into a five. Let's do that. Okay. Pick whichever one. It's not going to matter. Yeah. So five. Yep, it's five. Um... I can turn... Do we need any sixes? No. Oh, we need a green six. Yeah, we don't have a green. Um, I can make I can make that red into a green six. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. I don't think this did anything. 
Um, I can turn that purple into a white. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That's all three of my cards. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's actually that's pretty good. Okay. Um, I have only played two. I... Leopard. Give us the red black. That's useful. Right. It's two. There's oh. a red two. Oh, there is a red two. Yes, perfect. That's actually what I was thinking. Okay. Um, so. Let's see. I don't think there's one much else I can do. I don't have. We still have this black. We don't need a six anywhere, do we? Mm -mm. If it was a blue or a purple, would it help us in any way? Um, if it was a purple, I could, what is that, a two and... Yeah, two and a five. It's a two and a five? Yeah. I could theoretically re-roll it. I would have to use one of our... our I, I'd honestly, because, uh, well... Hmm... Actually, I'm going to use my Tempest Fox... To add a purple, to add a purple blue. Okay. Then I will hold this one, and we can take our two, four, <coughs> seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage. Hold on, because I get to roll that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, three. It is. Not. It is a two, though. That uh, will cover that purple two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so it's going to be how much? Three, five, eight, six, nine, seven. Ten, eleven, twelve damage. Twelve damage each? Yep. Okay. I'm just going to take. This better not be fucking permanent. Like, because yeah, it's be like, this is a dream. <laughs> I'm just going to take. And throw these in here. Okay. So I'm at I'm at 15 health. I'm I have four health left. Okay, I have five. Okay. Uh, or 15 damage is what I meant. Yeah, to okay. Me too. Do we want to use your warlord? Yeah, uh, might as well. Eight randoms, but you know, yeah. it's something. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That's actually... So we need a red... A black. Two, three blacks, a purple, and a blue. What can you modify? I can modify... I, I can change anything into a blue or a purple. I can change okay. anything into a six. I can change a three into any color, and I can flip a red. Okay. Oh, wait. I get my discard back, too. Nope. So. That's oh. only at the end of battle. Well, never mind, then. I can't... That's all I can do. Okay. Well, we did get the five... We also got the three. Nice. Uh, we I got can change the, another three into any color. We got a one. Um, if you want, make that blue three a black three. Okay. And then you can pick where it goes. It For us not to die, it has to go there. Cool. I can um, add a black die because of my vibrant. Is that a green one? Okay. Yes. Okay. Green or a black one. I think uh, I've used two cards already this round. So I have one left. Okay. I have only used one. That black three can go right there. I can make that green into a different color if it helps. Into, well, I can make it into blue or purple if it helps, but I don't think it does. I think it needs to be black or green. Well, black, green, or blue. Mm -hmm. So if you have more control over any Actually, of Actually, if you make it into a... Oh, uh, if you can... Actually, yes, because if I do negotiate, I can flip it. And then if you can make it into a black, 
Okay, it's a black. Or no, I can't make it into a black. I can make it into blue or purple. Blue then. That's, okay. that's it is blue then. So that will take care of him. Okay, so we just need to get the knight now. We're only gonna take one damage. Yeah. Uh, do you have any way to add any dice? I don't. Okay. All I can do now is change any color to a six or flip a red. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we will gain. We'll take one damage. We defeated Does the. Does he nine. have anything under his? Oh yeah, three. So four damage. Yep. That means I'm out. Yep. I'm still alive. By one. <laughs> I am not. So this is all you. I can actually probably... Actually, no, I still... Hold on. I, I had uh, one card left to play. I could do Cure Wounds. Okay. So, so then we'll four. hear four. Okay. So, and so. then I already took my damage from that, so I'm at... Basically, that's just going to get rid of... So that'll knock this down. You'll actually take this. no damage. You'll, yeah. You're still at whatever... So I'll just be at 15. Still. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Heal four, take four. Yep, so... Well, he's down, isn't he? Yes, he is on the way. That's the word drawing. We need to get a black or a green. Right. Okay, we got a green. Okay. Okay. We need it to be a one. Yep, we got a one red. I can... I can turn any color into a green. Perfect. I'll turn that one... Into a green? Yep. Cool. We won. Woo! Wow. We're cool. Immortal Knight, my ass! Okay, so we got one, two, three, four gold... Oh. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven experience. So four gold and seven experience. Yes. Hey, I reckon. I feel like this fight was made to lose. So I think so too. Yeah. Um. Okay. So nightmare. Okay. Get my discards back. Yes, discards will come back. And we are at. I think we're gonna need a fat rest after that rest. Well, hopefully it's literally not real, and yeah. it's just like, hey, actually, you're fine. But we shall see. Okay, the Dragul are victorious. A four. Though it pains you to see so many of the Queen's men dead by your hand, you are encouraged when Cathandor again sounds his horn, sending cheers of victory throughout the Dragul horde. A small crowd gathers around him. As Cathandor speaks, staring intently at you, a young goblin translates his words. Cathandor says you fought well, the goblin claims, but that his spirit cries out for justice. Free the Dragul. Bring Kolbak to its knees. A8. Each player return all stamina in your fatigue box to the supply. Oh, rad. Uh, each player flip your class card face up if it's face down. Rad. Return any gold gained during the previous combat to the supply. Oh. <laughs> oh we had one left. Uh, okay. Uh, refill your attribute row up to its attribute score with stamina from the supply, which... All that. Return any cards in your spent space to your hand. And if no player has the chisel object, you do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Thank God it was just it was just a dream. We get to keep the XP, though. Yeah, I'll take it, dude. That was 7 XP. Right? You start a little awake as sunlight pours into the prison. <laughs> ah, my eyes! Yeah. When the doors of the sublock open, you are visited by a goblin. Though older in appearance, with spectacles and deep wrinkles cut into his skin, he looks quite similar to the interpreter from your dream. He in introduces himself as Gundur. For weeks, he explains, all the prisoners have dreamt of Cathandor and of a battle fought over 2,000 years ago. Tonight, I dreamt that you would be the one to free us from Kolbak. After a brief, awkward silence, Gundor smiles. I will show you around, he says. Trust me when I say you will want a Dragul by your side. We should talk to Vrax. She's the leader of the Fighting 87th, the gang running the exercise yard. If you want Dragul help busting out of here, she's the one to talk to. Or, if you'd like, we could go to the archives. I have some old maps of the prison that could help us plan an escape route. You need to go to the exercise I yard anyway. I the exercise yard either way, so... You notice a crack between stones along the back wall of your cell. You press your hand against the gap and feel cold air passing through. In the shell, shell. In the cell opposite yours, you see a Shecky with the eye of the starlit door carved into its bark. Ooh. If it's two or higher, which it is, yeah. 
You can approach the Shecky. A15. We can use an item, rest, or move to another location. And we don't need to rest. You want to approach the Shecky? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. Yes, 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 sir. Seems to be the squad, after all. If you have the keyword Raven, we do not. We do not. You approach the Shecky and place three fingers under your right eye. W what is that? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought that was the Starlet. Why would that be the Star? What? We have the tattoos. Well, it does kind of. It has the three. So no, yeah. Yeah, right. But it's like, yeah, no one taught us yeah. that. We just thought, and they're like, "Are you kidding me? Who the hell? Who like, took you in? <laughs> oh, was it Massic? God, that fucking <laughs> has been. He hasn't been the leader for eight hundred years. Wait, what? Yeah, he just won't leave. He's like, his mentor is a guy named Alistair Crowley. <laughs> He's just some oh. sad weirdo. Anyway. Uh, a smile grows across his face. I don't know. Good to meet, good to meet a friend, he says, and introduces himself as Nuck. Nuck. Ooh, I'm about to Nuck. God, I'm finna Nuck. A raven with glowing blue eyes hops on the Nuck's shoulder and stares at you. Seems she's taken an interest, says Nuck. And a raven always follows her curiosity. I suspect she'll be a good familiar to you as she has been to me. <gasps> Record the keyword raven. Oh, cool. I like how sometimes whenever you go into one, it's like, if you have this keyword, and then you don't, and then you get it in that encounter. <laughs> yeah, it's in case we come back. Yeah. Find the Cursed Raven in the familiar deck. Uh, and add it to one player's hand. Can I borrow it? Gives us a black and a white. Ooh, I can't do anything with blacks, so... You want me to have it then? Well, no, because that'll give me something to do with blacks. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, okay. And I only have one. This is my second familiar, so now we're tied. That's for familiars. true. Okay, so we can use an item, rest, or move to another location. Um, let's go to the yard. Can we get there? We'd have to go... We have to hit that and that. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We just have to do two encounters on the way, but uh, yeah, let's go for it. Okay. We don't need to go to the chow hall for any Encounter reason. Encounter three. Uh, okay, so we are in five, five, three. Okay, if you have the title Duntum's Abandoner. We do not. You're right. We've Duntum. only been a friend of Dunton. Yep, because we have Duntum's Return and Duntum's Acquaintance and yep. Duntum's Lover. Mm -hmm. well, actually, that's just you. You only have the Duntum. You're you're involved. I well no, I'm the Duntum Watcher. <laughs> Otherwise known as the Duntum Cuckold. Okay. A few insectoid prisoners sit together on the ground, their arms and legs intermeshed. The insectoid at the center of this tangle of arms and legs has its mandibles latched onto a perfectly round yellow ball. She tightens her grip, cracking the ball in half and swallowing it whole. As she reaches for a second ball, it becomes clear that these are not some strange, unfamiliar fruit, but rather insectoid eggs which she is feasting. Gunder lowers his voice to a whisper. Better not think about it, he advises. Insectoids are not goblins. They have their own ways, and we must respect them. Okay. When the insectoids see you, they untangle themselves and stand aside, allowing you to pass. A single egg rolls across the stone floor and stops at your feet. We can grab the egg and run, or pick it up and return it to them. Let's return it. Yeah, to them. I have no reason to be like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Let's make enemies in prison. <laughs> right. Five eight. You scoop up the egg and hand it back to its mother. She accepts and cradles the egg in the crook of her neck. She stares at you with unblinking black eyes. She seems affected, but it is impossible to read what emotion she wishes to convey. To your surprise, she speaks to you in Nalos Common. Not here. She hisses. Wouldn't be right. Wouldn't survive. Let's fuck in the shadows. I don't. I don't. I don't want to do that. I will kill you. Otherwise. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I've actually uh, Arcambaldo. You just told me recently that you wanted to have sex with a weird insect, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There it goes. You nod slowly, <laughs> indicating you understand. <laughs> the time will come. She adds, for the birth of new things. Cathandor will save us. The Dragool shall be restored. New thing, like a like a cat insect hybrid. That's a new thing. Yeah, they're called hairless cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're gross. really gross. 
Ending on that cryptic note, the mother lifts the egg up into her mouth and crushes it with her mandibles. You don't understand the insectoid's ways, but decide that it is not your place to intervene. Gain 2 XP. Oh, cool. Yeah, that was it. For once, we got an encounter where we didn't have to fight or do some skill check. Yeah, we just had to show up. <clears throat> and okay. we got XP. Move to the next location on your path, so we'll just continue. And do you want to stop in the mess hall? No. We have no reason to. Yeah. Two. Okay. If you have the title Aid to Ogre, we... Don't. <laughs> no, that, that was from the very first one. I think if we had talked to him. Yeah, and we didn't. Nope, we very much have Rogue's Accomplice, though. Uh, as you walk through the prison, you notice a group of bugbears huddled together suspiciously. It looks as though they are attempting to hide something from the guards. You catch the faintest glimpse of their contraband. It seems to reflect the light. Gunder explains, They're members of one of the most dangerous gangs in the prison. They call themselves the Tall Claw Assassins. Better leave them alone. We don't want any trouble. Okay. We can move closer to get a better look, or report the bugbears to the guards. Fuck the guards. <laughs> yeah, dude. At this point, we were like in the middle of the king's yard, then getting thrown into prison, we're like, okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> so move closer to get a better look? I guess so, yeah. And it's the only other option. Right, yeah, 511. We're not going to be narcs. Right. Uh, you take a closer look only to discover that one of the bugbears is holding the severed head of a guard. Oh, gang. He looks like he's trying to find a way to pry it open with his claws. Panic, the construct's jaws open and shut. Oh, that's right, they're, they're constructs. constructs. I thought they were human. I'm like, what does he want, his brain? Yeah. Uh, panic, the construct's jaw opens and shuts as if he were trying to call for help. If you help the bugbears crack open the head, the guard will die. But the prisoners might offer you some of whatever's inside. Yeah, dude, let's help. Help the prisoners crack it open. Yeah, fuck dude, yeah. Fuck them. I don't give a shit about these guards. Yeah, they're not even human. They're <laughs> fucking, they're, they're soulless machines. Yeah, I don't know. You offer the lend a hand. The bugbears seem skeptical, but they hand the head over anyway. So we can find, figure out a way to disassemble it. That's dex and intelligence, okay. which is six total for me. I have, uh, th oh, I'm missing a thing on my dex. That's uh, four for me. Or we can crack the head open with brute force, which is strength and dex. I have four that way as well. I have five. So I think we'll just go with the other way. Yeah, dex five and intelligence. Way. Yeah, because I'm a, I mean, I have nimble, nimble fingers. Yeah, dude. Uh, so... And I'm, I'm kind of smart, so... <laughs> oh, are you? I have a three. You do have a three. What do you have? Three. We're equally smart. Yeah, but in different ways. Yeah, mine's in war strength. Yeah, and mine's in... In... in stealing. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, 515? Yeah. The head doesn't seem that complicated. You should be able to figure out a way to open it. Uh, hey, if your uh, starlit door... Is two or higher. Each player adds one stamina to their intelligence. Uh, so, okay. oh, no. <laughs> so now I'm at four. I'm also at four. But I was at four before you, so oh, I'm shit. smarter. Actually, I'm at uh, eight. <laughs> you got five. Five. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, hey, hell yeah! It's thief craft two. Oh cool. It's dice limit. Dice limit six. Yeah, so but seven. Seven, baby. Yeah, dog. Throw it down there. Hell yeah. So we need black, blue, and purple or white? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do two in intelligence. I'll throw. Yeah, I'll do also intelligence. So we'll get two blue. So two blue. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Do we want to throw in a black as well? Yeah. Okay. There we go. There's the two blue and the black. Um. I can throw in a white. Which is wisdom. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. Gets us a little closer. That's four, so we'll draw three more. Yeah. Hey, we got another black and a purple. Cool. Come on, baby! Give us what we need! Give me that give me that juice! It gave us close, because it gave us a four. four. Um, all right. What do we got, baby? I mm. can... Uh, I... <laughs> do we need any threes? No, we sure don't. We need a black six, a white, or a blue six, and a white or purple six. Mm -hmm. And then we need a black two. 
I can turn any die into a black, so I can turn this white into a black. black. So that'll give us a black. All right, now we need to get a... Oh, no. Well, no, we don't. Okay, no, that's good. Yeah, that's good. So black two. Okay. I can change any die into oh. a six. Uh, yeah, I can change any die into a six. Oh, so you can turn this one, this red, into a... Well, I can't change the color. But I can change... Oh, I see. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so so I then can you can just—I can, can change the purple to a six. Or no, I'll do the blue. Hold on, because I think I can. Can I flip? I can flip any blue or green. Okay. Oh, I can actually hold on. Hold on. I can use my relentless and turn any red into any color. So okay. I can turn this into a black six. Okay. Pretty or good. a blue six. Do a blue six because I can re-roll a black. Okay, I can also re-roll a bunch of blacks. Oh, I can add a black white. What am I doing? A blue six? Yeah. Uh, okay, and we were tur we were turning this into a six? Um, yeah, because we can re-roll well, blacks. hold on. I can add a black white. So if we get that, we can roll it. And if we get a six on there, we can put it in either of the spots. So. Yeah. Uh, did I ever grab the the white? Oh no, is that is that white in the, this one? Um, is it white and oh, it's, it's white black and white. white. Yeah. Black oh, it's right here. Yeah. Is that the raven? Yes, the cursed raven. Gotcha. Okay, we got a three. Ooh, not quite a six. Nope. Okay. Um. But I can re-roll a bunch of shit. Yeah. Um, how about... What do we want to be a six? I can change anything. The purple. Into, okay, change the purple into a six. So now we just need to make one of those blacks a six. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't have anything else that'll really help. Other than I could use the chisel, but if I use the chisel, it's done. What does that do? That lets me up any color. So I could up oh, that this five you just rolled into a six. It doesn't it it gets rid of the use of the card, but we still have the yeah. item. Ah! Pretty mm, good as any. I mean you're you are using it to crack open something. Yeah. Okay. So then I won't have to use my Nalos. Yeah. So, we'll so that'll that. just be a six. Okay. Alright, we did it. Yay! Two XP. Get our discarded cards back. And yes. That back. Okay, so that's rare card. Darly. And uh what were we at? We were at 515? Okay. The head comes apart. 519. The head comes apart and the Dragool prisoners cheer. When two guards stare suspiciously in your direction, they quiet down, dropping their voices to a whisper. Gundur translates. They say that we've earned a cut, he explains. One of the bugbears carefully sorts through the contents of the guard's head. There are pistons, screws, levers, and gears of all sizes. Many of them are made from gold. Gain two gold. Oh, cool. We walk in, they all hate us, and we're just like, hey, by the way, we're on your side. And they're like, oh, okay. Like, why would you hate us when we're in here with you? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like we threw any of you in here. We killed everyone we interacted with. Right. Okay, move to it. So now we can make it to... Exercise yard. E. Okay. Um, you glance around the exercise yard. A hobgoblin lifts iron dumbbells in a corner, and a few insectoids sprint around the edge of the yard. A large group of goblins are huddled around a stone table. This is the Fighting Eighty Seventh. The gang Gunder told you about. When you approach, a large goblin with golden blonde hair places her hand on your chest, blocking your path. Gunder introduces her as Vrax. Reveal title card 47. You are slightly aroused. I, not just slightly. You're at full candy corn. Yeah, dog, I'm going. <laughs> Goblin's inmate. As Kolbeck, at Kolbeck you met Vrax, the goblin gang leader of the Fighting 87th. Vrax is a skilled leader and devious strategist, and the surviving members of her battalion will follow her to the end. Uh, for the record... That is Vrax. There it is. Right there. I see it. There's Vrax. Keith. I... 
Where's Where's Varax? <laughs> the one in the with the horse. With the horse. Oh, that's not a horse. It's just two guards. Um, yeah. What um, are you doing over there? Quit fucking making stupid which, noises. But which one's Vrax? Not any of your business. Okay. Gunder speaks to the gang leader for what seems like a long time. Then he translates her words as she refuses to speak in Nalo's common. Vrax says she's going to kill you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. What? Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Sorry, man. She's on my list, which is weird. <laughs> Vrax says there's something you can do to help them. But she wants to know why they should trust you. You've heard that goblins value loyalty. It seems unlikely they would trust anyone who was not aligned with the Dragul. On the other hand, perhaps it would be better to show her that you will never turn on the kingdom of Nalos. Convince them that you side with the Dragul or announce your loyalty to Nalos. Honestly, dog. Fuck Nalos. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm kind of at the point where I just want to pillage and loot the entire country. Let's do it. Yeah, and uh, I'm in. when that king comes back... Cutting his head off. Yeah, dude. I mean, <laughs> it's time to just let this warlord show. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's like, hey, how about the fact that we're vampires? Yeah. Uh, so convince them that you side with the Dragul is D2, which is intelligence in, intelligent and wisdom. Mm-hmm. You've picked up a few words and phrases here and there in Dragul Common. Maybe if you can make your argument in her language, Vrax will listen. Our Dragul's favor is, however, not two or higher, so... Interpretation 2. Okay. There it is. Okay. So, I'll just... Just wherever. Let's put that right there. Okay. We need, we need white. White and blue and purple. Uh, I'll... I'm almost thinking save that and use your warlord. Okay. Sure, I'm just here to party. Who's going to party? Yeah, I'm just here to party. Probably kill someone. Here. What do we get? 14 dice? <laughs> yeah. Eight, yeah, we do. Six, nine. 13. 14. So set aside three whites. Well, we only got two. Okay. Um, a purple. <sighs> what can we modify? Uh, two blues, two whites, and a purple. Because um, we're going to get... Uh, we have two, four, I'd, five. We're I'd grab that purple blue. That's a good idea. Yeah. Two, four, six. We get one more. Can you turn? You can mess with uh, red. Grab a red, yeah. Okay. Because I can play with reds a little bit. Okay. Play the little red. Yeah, do a little bit red rocket. Ha! All right. Okay. All right, uh, that's that's not. There's a white two. That, that, you're right. There's a white two there. There uh, is blue four. A blue four. A blue three. We do well, or blue or purple three. Okay, we'll we'll set it aside. Um, let's see. Here. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to re-roll this black. Okay, go for it. That gives us a five. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Good to know. Oh, actually. I didn't need to fucking do that. I'm stupid. Hold on. Okay, cool. Then I'm just going to do my Eye of Olos and make it a four. Oh, red. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so we need... Uh, oh, how hold about... On. Okay. Mm. No. no, go ahead. Go. Uh, go ahead and add a white red. Look for dice. I mean, I can do it. With you no, want. shut the shut up. I it was literally the one that felt that popped out, <laughs> then went back into the bag. Yeah, I, saw that. I have a little bit of stuff I can do with these, so this might be useful. It's a one. It's a one. Hmm. Peculiar. Um, what if instead it? Piss on my fart. Oh! Oh! Okay. Uh-huh. 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 Would you like to hear my words that I'm thinking with my head? With, my head? with your head? Yeah, go yeah. for it. Okay. This is going to cost me two cards. Okay. But it will get us a that'll white be, three. That'll be all three of yours. That's though. true. Okay. Um, so I'll need you to figure out the blue three. If you can. Okay. Um, flip the red four. Oh. 
And if you want, you can flip the white and red one as well. Uh, it's not going to do us anything, but yeah. it's an option. And then go ahead and change it into a white. Huh. Nice. Or if you can change another thing into a white three, we can change it to a blue. I don't care. I can't. Um, okay. I can't modify white in any way. Okay. Well, that's that's what I can do. Okay. So we just need we one need of a, these to we become. We need a blue three. Okay. Um. If you can make any of those a three. I can change it to a blue, but I'll have to use a bonus <clears throat> play. I just have a bunch of re-rolls. Okay. You might re-roll the blue then. Yeah. My Tempest Fox. That's a two. That's close. That sucks hard ass. Cause I, all my increase in modifications are with fucking my weapons. Yeah. Um, That's how mine are too. Um. Wait. Oh wait, hold on. No, I'm a genius. We already have a blue three right there. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, I'm fucking. Oh, I didn't play, didn't play anything. Take that fox back. Oh, yeah, because I didn't have to re -roll. technically need to use it. We already did it. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. It was just yeah. sitting right there. Good deal. Neat. Okay. So I only use my Eye of Ulos. Okay, your Dragool is limited, but coherent. Vrax laughs when she hears you speak Dragool common, but appears satisfied. After another long conversation with Gundar, he is left grinning ear to ear. I told you, he says. It's fate. The Fighting 87th have been hoping to start a riot for a long time. But they require a non dragool willing to help. They can't be a coincidence. That can't be a coincidence. Cathandor has chosen you for a reason. Gundor explains that Vrax has managed to smuggle a potion of strength into the prison. But it's Nalos magic. It wasn't designed to be used by the dragool. A sketch of a plan emerges. Every weapon forged in the smithy is kept under lock and key. But with magical strength, you can rip the iron gate of their armory from its hinges. When you do, the Dragool will seize their chance. Make no mistake, says Gundor. We will do whatever it takes to free our people. But be careful. The potion can only be used once. Reveal discovery card 88. Game shit. And how have we not gotten a single increase in favor with Dragool? We're doing so much for them. Potion of strength. Uh, note that unlike most items, the potion of strength can only be used one time. Once you use the potion, you must return it to the discovery deck. Let's use it here. <laughs> yeah, let's just use it, like, for fun. Okay, we can use an item. Uh, <laughs> just, the chisel. <laughs> just like, oh, okay. <laughs> can we punch Brax? <laughs> Nalos for life! Um, can we do a rest so I can get my spent cards back? Uh, we can. Uh, sure. Yeah, let's spend an XP. And then... One! Yippee! Let me, let me roll <laughs> Five. There you Yippee. go. I'm going to use my thief, and can you hand me a gold? I'm going to move it into my thing to heal two. Okay. Um, ha! Made it. Nice guy. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's a bunch of those. Ugh. Three, three, I need three, one, one more. Three, three, two, one, cool. I'm healed. And I'll get my Eye of Ulos back, which is apparently an artifact that they did not keep take. It See, did. and that's my thing. They, so they took all of our weapons and armor, right? Right. Um, but <clears> they <throat> didn't take my Jade Gauntlet. Yeah, because yeah, it's an artifact. Yep. Yeah. They didn't take our, our pets. Yeah, they, <laughs> they didn't, didn't keep our pets. They didn't take this Onyx Cube. I mean, to be completely honest, otherwise, if they just took everything, which they th thematically should have, yeah. we would be able to do we lose. Yeah, we, <laughs> we couldn't we play. Lose the game. Okay, let's do your... Yeah, yeah, story. let's do it. You're just like, all right, I'll remember. You see your person, you're just like, oh, give me that potion. <laughs> give me that potion. <laughs> Smash your head. Oh my god, why? I just like walk up and punch them in the face so hard they go into the fucking the guard, room. The guard room. There's right. your hole. So, a frogkin enters the exercise oh, yard. You Stop. recognize him as Derva, a noble who used to bet on the games. 
He once paid the trainers at the arena to beat you within an inch of your life after you fairly defeated his favorite combatant. You heard he had been sent to Kolbak for owning debts to the Rom people. <laughs> Walking nervously, nervously through the yard, Derva seems convinced that the Dragul will attack him. There are many scrapes and bruises across his thick green skin. It seems he has taken more than his fair share of beatings here. If the gladiator has the person, do you have a rest or vigilante? You have vigilante. I vigilante. Okay. Yeah. Derva approaches you. Please, the frogkin says. I know who you are. I heard what you did to Kadima. I can pay you for protection, just like I do the others. You can take mercy on him, or you can get your revenge. I'm gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> you grab Derva by the collar and then throw him to the ground. The other prisoners form a circle around you, cheering you on as you pummel the frogkin noble. He cuts your throat. No, oh, <laughs> you, wow, you die. Wild. Pick a new character. Okay, I'll be a frog again. <laughs> he is no match for you, and you manage to inflict severe injuries before the uh, construct guards pull you apart. The gold in Derva's pockets finds its way into your hands. Gain four gold. Hey. Though he will likely survive his wounds, he has paid a price for the crimes he committed against you. Whether it happens today or many years from now, the frogkin is stuck in Kolbeck and will likely die within its walls. Hell yeah. Only one name remains on your list. Karej the Elf. I'm going to kill them the hardest. Yep, so we can use an item, rest, or move to another location. I guess let's start heading towards the guard quarters. Yeah, so I already... It was... Where was the... Uh, where we need to pull the bars apart? It's at the guard room. Was it the guard room? I'm pretty sure. Might check, but I'm pretty sure it's the guard room. Or the um, arm. There's not an armory, so... Every weapon forged and is kept under lock and but with magical strength, you rip... Uh, you can rip the iron gate off their armory from its hinges. Oh, because we're trying to get the weapons. Yeah. yeah, so it would be the guard room. The guard room, room yeah. Okay, yeah, let's start. Let's go to the archives so I can do my backstory. Okay. Uh, so we're at E. Well, you need to flip the thing over first. God, shut the fuck up, Key. It's number four. I just, dude, I just want to. Frax. <laughs> Wait, which one's Frax? I don't know. I don't remember <laughs> anymore. I haven't even played this game before. This game sucks. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Uh, we are at 5 4. You ready? Yes. Do we have the title Captor of Gimlix? I don't think we do. No, we're friend of Gimlix. Oh, yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gimlix is our dwarven lover. Yeah, we're lovers right. with everyone, really. Yeah, dude, honestly, we're just plowing the, the coast. You are stopped by a group of prisoners. Each has a purple eye tattooed on their forehead, indicating that they are members of the Starlit Door. That was so dark. was <laughs> 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 <Just> fucking... <laughs> <What's that? laughs> <laughs> oh, but you're affiliated. <laughs> a small dwarf pushes his way to the front of the group and introduces himself as Fairvid. He knows the glassy, faraway look in his eyes. I can show you the truth of Kolbak Prison, he says as he offers you a drink from a small flask, if you have the courage to see it for what it truly is. Yeah, dog, I'm in. Drink from his flask or ask him to drink first. Let's drink it, dude. Dude, yeah, hey, this is our boy. Thanks, I'm very, very thirsty. He's got no reason to poison us. Like, we're homies, so... 5.24. You're poisoned! No. <laughs> you take a quick sip from his flask. Within seconds, your vision starts to blur. You shit your pants and do a number three. What's that? It's when you throw up pee and, and, and shit. Poop at yeah. The same time. yeah, you do it in front of everyone. It's embarrassing. I knew it! Yeah, you mark a X on the death track. Uh, if you want to kill yourself. I forgot we died once. Yeah, from the guards. Yeah. Or no, no, no the, the trolls. The trolls, yeah, yeah. Your ears ring and the sound gradually morphs into the mothering of voices. From the corner of your eye, you see shadows rise from the walls and take new forms. The image of a kobold warrior comes into focus. At first, Fairvid is greatly pleased, but then the kobold spirit lets out a terrifying high-pitched scream. Ah! Oh, I thought you were going to do oh, your sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You're awoken with a sharp slap to the face. Somehow, you ended up on your back, legs up in the air, pants around your ankles. <laughs> Fairvid and the other members of the Starlit Door have their pants down too. They are standing above you. When well, you relay, one of your hurt. <laughs> when you relay what you saw, Fairvid appears enthusiastic. Cathandor's spirit is here. The dwarf explains. That means his horn is buried here as well, somewhere beneath the prison. The Starlit Door has been searching for the horn for a very long time. But be warned, he is a vengeful spirit. 
Dude, we are killing it with yeah, the Starlet dude, we're, Door. We're homies with the Starlet Door. All right, so now we can move to the archives. Okay, let's do it. Oh, let me get the, the XP. Yeah, yeah, would you? Okay. Man, I feel like we're doing way better on XP than we were before. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we got some good, uh, some good card synergy. Just been killing it, dude. Okay, do we have the title construct? No, we don't. No. Okay. A large number of bookcases and boxes filled with rolled parchment have been crammed into a rather small table. Or small room. On the table in the back, there was a small block of marble. Sorry for the mess, Gundor says. I've been trying to reorganize chronologically based on particular... His voice trails off as a headless construct guard stumbles towards you from the other end of the room. <laughs> it bumps in the gun door and immediately grabs the goblin's neck, twisting it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's almost as if the deranged guard were attempting to snap off Gundor's head and take it as his own. Sparks shoot out from the cavity between the guard's shoulders where his neck used to be, uh, crackling like fireworks. Fight the guard or find another way to disable him? Uh, Fight him, right? Why not? Well, I mean, disable would probably be a skill check, and we get bonuses on those. True. It's con and intelligence. I we I got six. I got five. So that's all plat in. I think we can do that. Okay. The construct looks incredibly strong. Perhaps there's a way to disable him without risking a fight. Introspection two. Yeah, we can handle that. We've gotten plenty of twos. Okay. So we need... Blue, green, and white or red. Yeah. Hey, I can, if anything, I can add a white or red. Ah, true. Yeah. Um, I can't, so, I can add, okay, so. I'll add a blue and a green. Yeah, same. Okay. okay. So that's two blues and two greens. Right out the gate. Oh, I put two of each in. Oh, okay, I did not. I just yeah. did, uh,. Uh, oh, so you just did them both? Yeah, I did. Okay. I, yeah. Throw in a blue and a green. You did? I did two. Oh, of each. I see. Okay. So, so enough for one of each, basically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm just going to fucking guarantee it. So we'll get okay. both of those. Yep. And then we will draw three more. Okay. Well, There's white. Two whites. Red. All right. We got three, three. So there's that. Oh. That was a one. It was a one? It was a one. No, oh, that sucks. <laughs> no, it doesn't. We needed a white one, or a green one. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. So, green one right there. Um, I can play with that three. Um, yeah, I can't. Uh, no, actually, I can do greedy and turn one of these into a green three. Okay. I could have also turned it into a green three, but you're good. You're okay. Good um, okay, so we need a we need a blue two and a blue four. Mm-hmm. I can't do a ton with that. I can flip, but that'll get us Oh, actually, no, that'll work, because I can flip this into a two, a blue two. Okay, cool. That's two of mine. I can re-roll a blue. Okay, we might need you to do that. Is it a four? It's a five. That's almost a four. Actually, oh, hold on. Can wait a minute, wait a minute. Down? Wait a minute, hold on, I didn't have to re-roll it. Oh. I could have done my eye to turn it into a four. Oh, right, okay. That's way better. That works better. Um, okay, so... Let's add your red, red, white. Add a red, red, white. Where is it? Give it to me. Give it to me, Neil. It's a one. It's a one, and it needs to be a two. Yep. Uh, mm. Get a black, white, and roll it. Another one. Fuck me in the asshole, dude. I... The only thing I can do is I'd have to use a bonus play, but I could re-roll that black. Yeah, because, like, I can make any color into a red or a white, but that doesn't help us because none of those are twos. Right. Um, ooh, wait, it might help us. Ooh. 
Mbop. I could make that black a white. Oh, I'd have to make it into a red. Because if it's a red, I can flip it. Okay. And that would make it a two. Yeah. Oh, it needs... It, okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, it needs a red. Yeah, just okay, make it a red. you'll have to use a bonus play. Uh, you, no, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to use a bonus play. So that'll go there, but that will give us the red two. Yep. And we got it. So that will flip the rest token. Um, getting our discard back. Hell yeah, being a vampire. I literally have like no discards. Oh wait, I got a dis I had a discard. Cool. Neat. Okay, so uh, you come up with a plan. E6. You notice the construct is standing over an oversized copy of Power Plays and Takeovers. You pull hard on the tome and the construct stumbles wildly, slamming into a bookcase with a shower of sparks. Sprawled out over a pile of dusty books and splintered wood, he does not look like he's getting up again anytime soon. Thank you. Gunder says in a quiet, raspy voice. You search the Construct's body. We get Discover Card. Discover Card 77. Liddy. 77 gives us the, a skeleton key. Oh, that's useful. Yeah, it is. Well, bam. It's over there. Gunder removes a dusty old map from a wooden crate and spreads it out over the table in front of him. They brought more Dragul here dead than alive, he explains. There used to be an entrance to the catacombs from the cell block, but it's been sealed. Oh. It's been sealed, eh? I have to use that chisel. It's not a bad idea. So we can use an item, rest, or move to another location. You do your book. Yep, doing my book. So that will be the... Uh, the outcast, hundred, hundred dollars. There, he's uh, taken over... Um, Gunder. Gunder's gonna be purple eyed. Yep. That seems to be the trend. Right? But man, do I just get it touched a little bit. Right. Adventure 5, Kraken Kolbeck. Gunder's eyes turn a shade of purple, <laughs> and the goblin smiles. It's good to see you, he says in Zan's voice. Then, furrowing his brow in concentration, he searches the archives. There is a Jagul book of spells here, Zan explains. I think it can help us. He uncovers a leather-bound volume, blowing off dust. This guy is fucking using me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like, without a doubt, but He's I'm... Super. Super sexy, though. Yeah. He uncovers... He shows me the red button. Yeah. Blow, <laughs> blowing off the dust before opening it and pouring, pouring through its pages. It's a spell of possession, he adds. It helps spirits form a permanent bond to their host. I am no apparition, but it might have the same effect on me. If it works, I can stay indefinitely. Unfortunately, it might also wake the spirits of Kolbeck, including a number of violent criminals who would be left to rest. Um, you can either tell Zan to cast the spell so you can be together, or search for a less risky alternative. I, I gotta keep going. Like I'm like head over heels. As an outcast, my... my um my thematic reasoning or my my roleplay reasoning is like I've had literally no one my entire life except Zan. Penny. That's fine. Okay. So move your alignment marker to the right. Can't. You can't. The goblin nods in agreement in Zan's voice. Gunder reads the spell aloud in Dragul Common. Their voice wavers before they reach the end of the page. Something has gone wrong. I I hear them, Zan says. The souls of a thousand dead prisoners. The goblin shrieks in pain, and the purple in Gunder's eyes suddenly phase, fades. Confused, he stares up at you with tears streaming down his face. What happened? He asks. Uh, Why am I crying? I don't, I don't know. You read something. Outcast player. Record the personal title, Ghosts. Ghosts. Gain one XP. Hey, all right. And we can use an item, rest, or move to another location. Okay. I don't know, Gunder. You just started crying. Super weird. Like, I was like, oh man, is this guy going to have a fit? Okay. Yep, so I won't have anything until literally literally the last... Yeah, I'll have one at seven. At seven? Yep. Okay. Alright. Uh, do we want to use the, ar the chisel in the archives? Because we can use an item. Sure. There might be something hidden in the archives. Yeah, why not? 
Um, 98. E. Yes. E98. Picking up a copy of Seven Habits of Highly Effective Minions, he uses a chisel to scratch your initials into its cover. Gunder seems deeply displeased, but he doesn't voice his objection. Okay. <laughs> Why? Okay. Let's go to the cell block. And yeah. Try to use the chisel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I. Okay, we're here. So we are at A. Yeah. All right. A, if there is an event token, there is not. Uh, okay, A1. If you have the keyword breakthrough, we don't. Your cell is just as you left it. Above your bed, there are faint markings in Dragul Common. There is also a crack between stones in the back wall where cold air seeps through. A Shecky with the eye of the starlit door carved into his bark sits in the cell. Okay, so we could approach him. We already did. Yeah. So, yeah, use, use an item. Yep, 98A for A98. You scratch at the stone with your chisel. After a short time, you stop to check your handiwork. You've barely made a dent. Somehow you need to bring more pressure to bear in your blows. Trying to scratch your name, Gunder guesses. Looks like someone else carved up the wall over there. Left quite a little poem, in fact. Ask Gunder to translate the poem. Sure. Use another item. Rest. Okay, so. A17. Gunder clears his throat and proceeds to translate the poem. Scratch into your cell wall. Gathander, do not sleep. Your people are in chains. Cathandor, sound your horn, or forever shall we remain. Horn of Cathandor, make us brave. The freedom we seek lies through your grave. A bit grim for my taste, he decides. Okay, so I'm assuming we, we can use the potion to break the wall and get the horn. That'll do us with the starlet. Or if we use the potion to get the weapons, it'll do us for the dragool. Mmm. So pick... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we should do the starlet. Do we know that's where... Oh, yeah, I did say there was the... There's a horn hidden somewhere below the... The, the cell block here. Well, right. it's just... It's hidden below the prison. And then there was the thing in the last place saying that there was a hidden area under I the thought there was an entrance that was covered over. Because we're feeling wind, so I yeah. wonder if that's just another escape route. I feel like it's not... Especially since the poem on the ceiling is talking about the horn. True. Um, it's true. Yeah, I'm really worried that if we um, don't go to the guard room, like, God, could, that we might not get our shit back. Yeah, we can go to the guard. We can go to the guard room before we do it. True. If we just want to like head there real quick and see what's up. Yeah, I probably I think we should. Okay, that's fine. So that'll be one. Yeah. Number one. Okay, five dash one. Okay. Stepping over a sewer grate as you pass through the prison, you are startled when a hand grabs hold of your ankle. Shh! A voice whispers. The guards are watching. Don't look down. You ignore this demand. The sewers are too dark to see much of the shadowy figure below, but you do not rec you do recognize its voice. It's Tarek Nolan, the halfling who led you on a secret mission at Blackgate. I'm about to make a very loud noise down here, and I don't want to attract any attention, he explains. I need you to create a diversion for the guards. Oh my god. Start we so we can start a fight with another prisoner, make guards think you're insane, or refuse to cooperate and alert the guards. So he would get us stuff with King, the King's favor. Yes, but why is he here? I don't know. That's weird. I'm curious as well. So we can just make the that's con and charisma. I don't have any more con left. I have one con left. Uh, we can just start a fight with another prisoner. Is that like strength or just fight? It, it's a it's a fight. Let's just fight someone. Okay, yeah. I've been itching for a fight. Gotta, all right, all right. Uh. Adventure, oh, five, yeah, 531. We've been a little too nice. we got to show everyone who's boss. Yeah. You lunge at the kobold passing by, hitting him square in the jaw. He punches back, and the other prisoners form a circle around you, cheering him on. As long as prisoners aren't killing each other, the guards seem more than happy to let them blow off a little steam. Yep, just a regular kobold. Cool. If we were in legendary mode, we would start the round mark, because that's another way you can make it a little bit harder, is obviously playing legendary mode, which gives different things. All right. It's going to fucking gank this guy. Okay. <laughs> so our combat dice is four. We need 
Uh, I can do... We can both do a dex okay. and a wisdom, and that'll get us a black and a white. Okay. There we go. And then draw... Draw the other two? Yep. Might as well. Green and a purple. There's a green. That's a red, which is almost purple. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, green three. I got the green three. Um, I can make anything a five. Okay, yeah, do that for sure. So I'll um, let you pick a black or a white. I this can... one super matter, so... Yeah, um, yeah, that's true. So we'll just make that into a five. Okay. I don't think I can make... Oh, yeah, I'll do my Tempest Fox at a blue and a purple. Cool. Cool, cool. Split and cool. There it is. I really can't do a ton else. It's a five. Yeah. Which I can change any color into red or white. Um, I can change a three into any color. I can change any color to a six, or I can change any color to a blue or purple. Um, I might just have to eat around. It's not like we're going to take any damage. So. Yeah, we are. We're going to take four. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Which I can negate by curing wounds. Yeah. It's not going to kill us, so... Right. Um... Uh, well, let me... I'll do my Nalos Leper and I'll just re-roll this just to see. All right, let's you add one. Uh... No, it doesn't. It's it lets me add the die or oh. re-roll, okay. and I'll re-roll and just get the five. Okay, cool. Uh, that's my second, and then yeah, I'll cure wounds, which will be four, so we'll actually end up healing one because he's going to deal three. Cool. Okay. All right, one more go. We need a purple. Right. If we both want to throw one in, we can guarantee a purple. Yeah. We need it to be a four. Can I vote we rest after? Okay. Hey, we got two purples. Hey, good. And that's so. Hopefully, one of them ends up being a four. It did. Oh, lit. Sweet. So we just killed this kobold. We didn't kill him. We beat him up. <laughs> I'm sitting there, like, holding him, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh! Well. Okay, your fight distracts the guards. 527. Okay. Uh, going back. You manage to keep the guards distracted. An explosion rumbles the ground beneath you, but the sound is mostly muffled by the cheers of the prisoners. The guards appear momentarily puzzled, but their eyes never leave the match. You assume that Tarek is making good progress below. Yeah, record the keyword Nolan. What the fuck is he doing? I don't know. I'm curious. Nolan. Okay, and we can rest. So. Rad. Um, do we want to use like 2 XP or 1 XP? I think we both. I mean, I need 6, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do 2 XP. Okay. I got 6. So there you go. Thanks. 2, which almost completely heals me. Or 6. So. Oh, I got 12. Oh, God. <laughs> so I'm almost healed. Same. I am healed. I'm completely healed. Uh, the bonus play comes back as well. Neat. And I get my cards back. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Two. Oh, wait. I'm missing one. Advancement testing. Spend one or more. Draw dice. If you roll return seven from there to the supply, equal to filled red three rows. So that's our space now. play returns all bonus play tokens. Yep. Okay, yes. I just want to make sure that we weren't oh, being, like, overpowered. Nope, that's the, we're doing everything right with resting. Neat. All right, so now we go to the guard room. Yay. I got it. Don't worry. God, I was 
getting worried. I know. I knew it. I could feel it in my in my jowls. Okay, we do not have. Okay, if there is an event, there is not. If there is no, okay, otherwise collect the XP. Gunder eyes the guards nervously. I'll wait outside. You enter a large room where Warden Mercy, a human woman, sits behind a large wooden desk oh, flanked by constructs. Her. She studies you thoughtfully as you make your way across the room. You may not remember, she says, but we've met before. We fought together under Commander Zalik against the Dragul, and now here you are. Is it true? Did you murder the king? No. Oh. You're not certain what to do. The warden might not believe you if you tell her that King Terran escaped to another plane. You are not certain that you believe it, even though you saw it with your own eyes. We can convince her of the truth, or invent a clever lie. I feel like we have nothing to lose by telling her the truth. Yeah, no, I completely agree. It's yeah. strength and charisma. Okay, let's do it. Okay, you I tell... Got, I got good strength, you got good charisma. You tell the warden the whole story, even though it's the truth. You're not sure whether or not she'll believe you. Uh, our king's guard is not two or higher, so it's persuasion two. It should be doable. I think so. Okay. Okay. So I'll throw in two strength to get us one red. Throw in two purple to give us a purple. Okay, so there's two purple and two red. I'll go ahead and use my warlord. Okay. So, so we'll you can the... pull. Uh, Technically, you can pull two dice for every dice. So. Right. Yeah. Um. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There we go. Yep. Well, exactly enough. Uh, so we need another purple, another red. That's, so we're gonna get set. We're gonna get seven total. So grab a white and a blue, and then and then another white. Sure. That black white might be a little more useful instead of just the normal white. No, nah, because we don't need black for any reason. No, but we might be able to alter a black when we can't alter a white. Yeah, that's true. It just basically just gives us more options. Okay. Um, red so one d- and oh no, yeah, red, red one, one, green three, or green purple three, purple three. three. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can I can flip a blue perfect. with negotiate to really give us our one. So we need a purple five mm-hmm. and a red five. Um, I can make either one of them a five, but not both. Uh, okay. <clears throat> but I have other options. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, we'll just uh Okay, so uh, let's do the per let's do the red. You do the red. Red five. Okay, so because what I can do oh wait, no, do the purple. Well I can re roll purple. Well so what I can do is I can do that and then I can do it's a three, right? What was the red before? A three. Okay. So I can do um, what can I do? I thought I had a thing. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, I do. Um, so go ahead. Um, do the flip over the black white. Oh wait, no, that only works on reds. I mean, I Let's, yeah, we can do it the other way. Um, so do the red is a okay. five. So that's a, that's a five. Yeah. I'll re-roll the purple. That didn't work. Actually, if we can flip a purple, we cannot flip a purple. But I can flip a. Actually, hold on. Can you turn that into a red and then flip the red? I can. Okay, let's do that because I can. I can do something cool with that. Okay, so, so we'll turn, turn it, it into a red. Yeah, hold on. And then I'll flip the red. Can I just find a fucking? There's no that's, more reds. That's They're all, all gone. That's all my. That's all my cards. That's fine because I have one more I can play. Okay, so we got a red two. Yep. They're like all at the bottom. I feel like this bag needs to be just a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so then we'll flip it to a five. Yep. And then I can turn any red into any color. So it's purple. Which gives us a purple five. Cool. We did it. All right. We get two XP for that. Rad. We're so cool and hot. Okay. uh, Where was it? She believes you. And she shows us her titties. Hell yeah, dude. 
Give us our stuff back. Well, let's hope. The warden considers your words carefully. Perhaps I am a fool, she says, but I believe you. If the king lives, then there is still hope. She quickly skims a book sitting on the podium in front of her and finds your name. We provide every prisoner at Kolbeck with a bed and a warm meal, she explains. In exchange, we expect an honest day's labor. I'm assigning you to the smithy. Keep your eyes and ears open. There has been chatter among the prisoners about a riot. If you are still loyal to the king, then you remain bound to his service. If you discover any details of their plan, come see me. I'll need hard evidence, but if you can provide that, well, maybe we can help each other. Is that understood? Record the keyword truce and kiss her on the lips. Do we want to immediately turn on the jungle? <laughs> It would be kind of funny. We reveal discovery card 26 and place card and place an XP on it. We're doing better with the king than we are the Jagul. And after all the stuff we did for him, they didn't even give us a plus one. So. Uh, so this is going at one. Yeah, right there. Yep. Place an XP on it. B -b 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 buddy. Okay. Because chaotic evil doesn't mean we have to be, like, wholeheartedly evil. No, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah, whatever just is chaotic and... and I mean, whatever helps us the best. Right. Wouldn't that be chaotic neutral, though? Because mm. chaotic evil is so in chaos, so ideally, I would assume chaotic evil would be... We would start the riot. Yeah. Just to sow chaos, because it's, it's funny. However, if we go to her, what would be the hard evidence? The strength potion? Um, because that would be what was given to us. Yeah, and it's what, <clears throat> that's what they snuck in. But we need that to help out the eye. We've done a lot for the eye at the same time. We're at five above we it. We could get a horn, <sighs> but then we don't have hard evidence. To well, go we back. might be. We might get hard evidence from the smithy. She said, keep your eyes and ears open, so I guess if we go there and we pretend to be... Yeah. Like, with the rioters. Yeah. Maybe we get if we maybe we get a title. But yeah. no, it has to be... An, it, um, we might get an item or something. I think it's worth a shot. Go to the smithy then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she said, keep your eyes and ears open. Discover any details of their plan, come see me. I'll need hard evidence... Okay, that is G. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm not assigned to the smithy, Gundor says, so I'll have to wait outside. A dozen Dragul prisoners tend to the forge and strike at metal over anvils, shaping hot iron into swords, while guards keep watch. The heat from the forge is overwhelming. It's not long before you are drenched in sweat. After a freshly forged weapon has had a chance to cool, it is secured behind a locked iron gate in a small armory. Okay. In order for the gate to open, two guards must simultaneously insert their keys into separate locks on opposite sides of the room. There's a spare rounding hammer on the table beside you. Everything else here seems to be too big to hide in your prison uniforms, but the hammer is just small enough to fit your hammer and chisel. That's a good idea. And we have one skeleton key. Right. So if uh, we get a second key, we could probably still open that thing. Right, discovery card 59. Yes, rounding hammer. I told you it was a good idea to go here. We keep it in between our butt cheeks. <laughs> Absolutely. Also, I'm um, a reptile, and reptiles don't have sweat glands, so I'm not sweating. You are. It said so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear any of that other shit. You're a freak, is what you actually are. <laughs> Okay, so we can use an item or move to another location. Do we want to use our rounding hammer while we're here? On what? I don't know. <clears throat> Work. I mean, maybe the skeleton key. We would need a second one, though. Do we? Yeah, it says we need two. We can try it. Uh, 77. Yeah, because we also can't steal from anything. We basically need... Hmm. Um. 
Yeah, because we also... What do we have as keywords? Raven, Nolan, and Truce. I say we just go back to the cell block and try to get that horn. Let's do it! So... Yes, I'm here. Let's see, we are at A. Yep. And we are doing... 59 and 98. No XP, A1. Yeah, breakthrough. We don't have breakthrough. Okay. Um, yeah, using that... Whoa, sorry. 59 and 98. Uh, yes. Okay, so we'll get one fatigue. Ooh, you toss me one. Here you go. I don't want a five. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought you might. 59 and 98. Yes. Okay. You find the crack in the back wall of your cell. You position your chisel near the gap and hit it with the hammer, slowly chipping away at the stone. A97. Soon there is an opening in the wall large enough to crawl through, which leads into the small chamber beyond. This is it, Gundor exclaimed. The entrance to the catacombs. Return discovery cards 59 and 98. Hey, you're gonna hold on to him. Like, dude, if these rip, I'm gonna fucking slap you. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you're just like, gonna buy me a new one. The whole new game. <laughs> yep. 59. I bet they would replace the card if we asked. It's, pr it's principal at this point. You ripped the card. I, I didn't mean to. I tripped. <laughs> you're sitting down. <laughs> and then discovery card eight, which is the catacombs, goes to. Yes. And place an XP on it. Record the keyword breakthrough. Hey, we got I it. want to break free. Wow. Have you considered being on American Idol? Uh, no, because that show sucks. Oh, what about uh, The Voice? Also sucks. They have shitty fucking singers on that. America's Got Talent? Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that one's cool. No, because... Uh, I haven't lost my entire family, like every other great singer on that show. Okay. Wow, really? Because it's job. like it's like average to mediocre like singers, and then it's just like my dad he, got he, shot by Batman. Yeah, we we wrote this song after uh, our mother passed, and it's like in a house fire. With every the rest single of family. Yeah, every single one of you. Like, it's it's just it's sad, but I'm like. That person over there actually has talent. Yeah. Okay. Use another item, rest, or move to another location. Uh, I bet you the skeleton key isn't for those those weapons over there. I bet you it's uh it might be for the catacombs. But let's Why would a guard have a key to a catacombs no one know about? The skeleton key isn't theirs. Oh the no, he did, did yeah, you're right, the construct yeah. did it did have it. Yeah, sorry, I thought we just found it in the archives. Is that what was that? F? Yep. Who? Good. I'm glad we didn't use the strength potion. Yeah. If you have the keyword Nolan, we do. Mm -hmm. F17. Heck yeah, brother. You follow a crumbling stone staircase down to an old prisoner's tomb. Gunder follows you, wiping the dust from the plaques that line the walls and reading off the names of the dead. Ahead in the darkness, you glimpse a figure crouched in the shadows, prying open the stone door of a tomb. Oh, oh, ah, you've made it, says Tarek Nolan. Lend me a hand. Just Until finish my latest batch of hair. Why, <laughs> Nolan? <laughs> Why do you always have hair? He just pulls out a bag and just collect it when I sees it. It's a snack. Gunder seems surprised to encounter anyone in this ancient catacomb, but he turns his attention to the engravings on the tomb. While Tarek pries the tomb open, Gunder reads aloud, here lies Cathandor, general of the Dragul Horde, keeper of the Mystic Horn. Oh, please don't open that. Gunder's cry comes too late. The stone door pops open, revealing the bones of a kobold warrior dressed in full armor, clutching a horn of white bone. Tarek looks the corpse over, confused. No Dragolium anywhere, he says. He takes the horn from the corpse's hand and gives it to you. I guess it isn't from another plane after all. As soon as the horn leaves Cathandor's hands, a strange blue mist rises from the carcass and forms into the shape of the kobold warrior. The spirit turns his eyes towards you. Reveal rare card 37. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six. Cathandor's each player adds three stamina to their fatigue box 
uh, from the supply, <laughs> gain one XP. No, 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 this is if we play it. Oh, if we use it? Okay. Yeah. Um, Which we're going to right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. You're kind of the closest to a kobold, so <laughs> there you go. But then it also is fucking treasure, and I am a thief. No, you got the raven last. Yeah. So, I want it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, this that, would bit put me at seven. Well, but we're not matching because we're not even anymore because you lost more cards than I did. Uh, besides, we'll probably never use this. It's okay. You know, I'm a lizard, but it's fine. You are a lizard, but you're not a kobold. I'm kind of a kobold. Uh, really? Yeah. Do you identify as a kobold? Sometimes. Okay. When it gets me a horn. The following combat, this is a special combat. The following combat will redirect you to a new storybook entry after the first round. Make sure to read the three possible outcomes once the first round is complete and turn to the corresponding entry in the storybook. Oh. The Ghost of Cathandor. That's cool. Huh! <laughs> Well, it's not necessarily as bad as the Undying Knight or whatever. Right? Okay. Yeah, so... Okay, yeah, so... We shall see. Yep. What do we need? We get four red, dice. Red, black, white, purple, and then anything. Okay, let's guarantee a red. Oh, there's a red. We can guarantee a black, too. Did I almost... Oh, you don't have any more strength. I don't. Damn. Okay. Because um, I also don't want to die <laughs> fair. fighting this thing. Uh... You don't have your warlord, so we're just at the whim of whatever we get. The the bottom one is literally any die. Yeah, it's any die is a six. I say we just we hold on to our health. Random it, okay. And random it. That's fine. Luckily we have a pretty good spread. Okay. That's that's not horrible. Okay. Ooh, baby. Okay. Go ahead and put that that green six in the six spot. Yeah, that's the only thing. Um we did get a three red. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, so we got a four covered. The others are pretty weak. Oh, well, except for the that one four. Yeah. The one four. Yeah, the red one is four. Damage. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Um. I can add a black white. And I can add a red white. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not anything. Oh, the red white is already there. Is there only one red white? Yeah, because it only comes from the. I guess you could add one or the other. It doesn't have to be the. Yeah. Yeah, because this is the familiar die that we get from your tortoise. Oh. Or there's the black white. So I guess we can add. Do we want to add another? Uh, white. A white or mm, or a red, and hope we get a one. one. Yeah, let's add a white, a red. That's two of your cards. Yeah, that's two of mine. Okay. 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 Um, that's awful. <laughs> yeah. Not great. So that turns that into a one. I can re-roll a bunch of stuff. That might be what you need to do. I can... Okay. Do my leopard, and we'll re-roll that. Great. Uh, I can do something with that. Okay. I can turn... I can turn that red three into a purple three. Okay. That'll be my last card. Um, okay. I still have two cards I can play. Basically, what I have left it would have to be a bonus play. I can turn anything into a red or a white. I can turn anything into a purple or a blue. Which oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay.
Okay, I can do something. I can... Okay, yes, yes, yes. We'll do a bonus play, because I'll do my greedy, and I'll flip this to a one. Okay. And then you can... Turn it into a red? Turn it into a okay. red. It is a red. So that will cover that. <clears throat> I should so. stop doing this. I keep tucking them under my board. Right, yeah, I just... I don't do that. Mm -hmm. Um, okay... So we're not going to beat him first round. No. However, uh, I still have one card I can black and at least cover up one of those two blacks. Okay. So I'll do Relentless and make a two black. Gives us better odds next round, though. Let's hope. Let us hope, and yes. Okay. So, uh, we did not get defeated at the end, but we didn't win. So neither victory nor defeat at the end of the first round. The spirit begins to glow. You hold strong in the face of the ghost's screaming visage. Cathandor swoops across the tomb and an unearthly glow fills the rough stone walls. Each player place an armor, skill, or trait from your hand in the active area of the party journal. Uh, here's three damage. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, so each player we place an armor, skill, or trait. Uh, from our hand? Yeah, into the That's active That's the only trait I have. Okay, I'll do lovesick. So this is the only card I have left in my hand. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we might... I might have to change. For the remainder of this combat, you may play any card in your hand as though it were... Oh, okay, it's not... As if it were a copy of the card in the active area. Okay. Oh, okay, then, then I will do my Vibrant, because that lets me add a black die. Return all cards in the active area of the party journal to their owner's hands at the end of combat. Okay, yep, we just continue combat. Uh, so the only thing I can do this round is I can turn something into a six. Or you can treat that as if it was is that. It, yeah. Okay, so... I'm gonna add... I need a black and a white, right? I can add a white. I can also... And then I, well, then I can treat any card as if it's my vibrant, so then I can add a black, so we don't have two. Okay. And then we get to draw three... Okay. What did we need? We need a. I can't. I can't see a white four. Or yeah, a black. we need. We need a black two and a white four. Okay. Okay. I can turn any. Do my eye of Talos. I can turn anything into a uh, four. So I'll turn this into a four. Okay. Can Maybe. you turn anything into a black? Uh, no, I can turn any color into a six. Or I can change it into a blue or a purple. Um, I'm going to use my Love Sick as my Vibrant and add a black die. Okay. Hmm. That's a God three. Damn it. God. That's so stupid. Yeah. Guess we just need a stupid fucking black dude. Do. Alright, I'll do it again. I'll treat that as and add another black. Two cards I've played, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Neat. Neat. What is that? What's left? Two, and then it would be four, so six damage. Yeah. Which I mean, I can survive. Nine, two, four, six, eight, ten. I can too, but I really just don't want to. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're gonna have to rest after this, no matter what. So. Fucking. Oh two. wow, it's a two! Hey, cool. Well, yay! Uh, Alright, the spirit disappears. The spirit of Kinthandor disperses. A blue mist again fills the crypt and gradually dissipates. You have awoken him, Gundor explains grimly, and his spirit is now bonded to you. He will haunt you until your dying day. I am sorry. I should not have let you come here. Yet, it is good news that you have recovered 
Uh, Cathandor's Horn. An object of sense immense power will surely prove useful. Uh, reveal title card 43. Can we just kill ourselves? <laughs> I mean, we're not doing bad. Haunted. When you took Cathandor's horde, you disturbed his spirit. Every once in a while, you think you see the Dragool General from the corner of your eye, watching and waiting for the right moment to strike. Uh, we get one, two, three, four, five XP. That's pretty good. Man, we are loaded. I know, right? We're going to be able to do some stuff after this. Okay. Uh, where was that? Let's see, we defeated that, so... Um, okay. If you have the keyword Nolan, F18. We do. We very much do. Uh, you look around for Tarek, but he has disappeared. You search the catacombs, but find no trace of him. Stairs lead back up to your cell, and a locked iron door waits at the end of the passageway. Skeleton key. Yeah, did he lock us down here? I don't know. Oh. Um, so we can use an item. Uh, we can rest, which I think we definitely should. Yes, we get We get our card back from, from up there. So we shall rest. Uh, let's use 2 XP. Yeah. Maybe three, depending on how your rolls go. Put this back in. I got five. Okay, let me borrow those. I need to get seven. Um, I'm gonna use my thief, and then I will add another. So I will return four. I got six. Two, 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 and then three. Okay. Three, one, three, three, two, one. Cool. Only have one. That's fine. Same. That's doable. Same. And I have my things back. So. Ain't no thing. Okay, so yeah, we need to use an item. Uh, what are we at? It's F, F, uh, 77? Yep. The skeleton key fits perfectly into the lock of the iron door. You turn the key and the door swings open. Okay, F-16. All right, um, we don't have Warden's Trust, we don't have Rioter, we don't have Distrusted, and we don't have Drank. So just as you're about to head down the steps beyond the Iron Gate, Gunder grabs your arm. Wait, he says. You and I may be able to slip a nose into the muck, but the rest of the Dragool will be stuck here for the rest of their lives. The only way to free them is to stand and fight. Escape from Kolbak. This action will trigger the end of this adventure, or agree to go back and help the Dragool. Hmm. I kind of like Gundor. Yeah. He's, he's our boy. Yeah, he's kind of our homie. But I'm really worried that if we end it, we and we, we don't get our shit back. That's also what I'm worried about. And I think we need to get her trust to get our stuff back, or a successful riot. Right, so I wonder if, um, hmm, yeah, I'm thinking we just try and go and get our shit back. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so agree to go back and help the Dragool. Yep. Gunder smiles. You and I should be enemies, he says. We fought on different sides of the war after all, but here you are, helping me and my people escape from one of your king's prisons. The Dragool think that all the people of Nalos are monsters. Now I see that we were wrong. Aw. Your quest is complete. From now on, when the choice indicator gives you the opportunity to move to another location, you may instead turn to the end. Record the keyword unlocked. Yeah. Thank you, brother. I'm killing it on this one. Except that D. Okay, so we have to move to another location. Let's go to the chapel for fun. We really don't need to. Yeah, but we can get I don't want one more XP. <laughs> okay. Where should we go then? Okay. Do we want to use the potion to open up the bars of the smithy? I'm I'm almost 100 percent positive the strength potion is the um. Uh. 
um, is the hard evidence that yeah. if we go back, it depends on how we want to how we want to do. Like, I like Gundor, so I don't want him to die here. So I have a feeling if we help them, like if we do the riot, we're probably gonna fire. Yeah, and that will get us our stuff back. Yeah, I think starting the riot is what we are kind of about. We're vampires. We're chaotic evil. Um, we steal shit. We're all for the Starlit Door. That is also apparently about just whatever fucking up yeah, the kingdom, just doing their own thing. We're we try to play middleman. Or we're almost like. Yeah, like seek like double agents, like yeah. trying to just be like, "Hey, yeah, we're on your side," just to be able to get what we need. Yeah. So I think we start the riot. Okay, cool. Well, then we'll need to go here. It is the smithy. Yeah, because that's what it said. That you have to pry open the bars in the smithy. I'm pretty ah. sure. Okay. You might double check me, but I don't remember. It was at D. Is what she said. Yeah. Oh, hey, we're here. Um, a sketch of a plan emerges every weapon forged in the smithy is kept under lock and keep it with magical strength you can rip the iron gate of the armory from its hinges yeah yeah you're right okay so D oh, no it's G G88 uh, it yeah. the smithy um 88 yes and this is I wonder if there was a way that we could um get a second key that's kind of what I was curious about and I don't feel like... I mean, they didn't, it was never presented. Unless it's in the chow hall. I know, right? I was like, that might be one option. I can't... But the that, I, that'd be so weird. Well, I mean, the reason we got the other one was because of the guard in the archives. Yeah, Like, it was true. super random. We can check it on the uh, way. Actually, we uh, we do get... If we're using the skeleton key, we'll get a fatigue. There we go. Um, it is on our way. We did just rest. Um, now nah, let's just fucking drink it. Okay. Right. Let's just see what happens. Okay. 88. You quickly chug down the potion, and the muscles throughout your body painfully enlarge and contract. Filled with a sudden fury, you grab the steel blade in front of you and snap it in half with your bare hands. Yeah, return discovery card 88. Continue G3. Aw. Yeah, because if... Um, yeah, who knows? I mean, it does give the game replayability. Yep. If there is another way. Okay, so G3. The gnoll seated next to you nearly falls out of the, uh, her chair with surprise, attracting the attention of the guards. You flip over your workbench. A guard sets loose an arrow from her crossbow, but you can barely feel the sting. As you grab the construct charging towards you by the neck, the prisoners cheer. You effortlessly rip the iron gate from its hinges, and the dragool pour into the armory to grab whatever weapons they can. Uh, you can feel the potion of strength wearing off, so you decide to grab a weapon as well. Uh, if you have the word unconvinced, erase it. If you have the keyword truce, erase it. Whoops. Reveal title card 39. Is it Super Cool Guy? Is that the name of it? It might be, yeah. 39 and 40. Oh. Whew. Remove all XP from the adventure map. So we got Rioter. When you started the riot at Kolbeck, the Dragul prisoners of war escaped into the countryside. Hopefully they will return home to the Dragul city-states without pillaging too many villages along the way. Um, and Warden's Ire. Warden Mercy gave you a chance to prove yourself loyal to Nylos. As far as she's concerned, you failed miserably. The Warden now perceives you as a threat. Cool, let's go fight her. Get her shit back. Remove, oh, uh, place an event token at locations A, B, C, and D. So, uh, B, D, A, A, B, C, and D. Yeah. Uh, minus one Kingsguard, plus one Dragool. Well, there you go. Shuffle the weapon deck and reveal two cards. Choose one and add it to one player's hand. Cool. It's 
It's like the lamest weapon. So. Yeah. We'll give it to you, obviously, as the warlord. Hey, that makes sense. And we'll say you're the one who obviously drank the potion. Yep. I just got roided out. Okay, so there's a steel net okay. and a wand. <laughs> Give the steel net. Okay. <laughs> Could have been literally anything cooler. Yeah, pretty much. By the time you have chosen a weapon, the fight is already won. All six guards are dismantled. The Dragul triumphant. We need to strike quickly, Gunder explains, before the guards are able to request reinforcements. If we kill the warden now, the prison is ours. Deal. So move to another location. I, so I feel like we have to stop. Well, that's kind of that's actually what I I'm double checking. Like when it says move to a location, can we just go straight to her? Do, yes. Do we have to go one location at a time? Movement. When the party chooses, move them party from the current location to another along a connected path. So yeah, this path ends here. Yes, I guess I guess so. So there's an event. Okay. So that will be C. After that, we can go straight to the warden. But oh yeah, you are correct. Yeah. But we're gonna have to do this one first. Okay. Uh, C eight. I'm not even gonna acknowledge that. The rioters burst into the room, taking the guards by surprise. A goblin with a particularly crazed look in his eyes emerged from the pantry with a lit torch and canister of cooking oil. Oh he begins pouring the oil all over the room. The goblin appears ready to set the chow hall on fire at any moment, taking both the prisoners and the guards with him. Oh my god. Remove the event token from the location. We can let it burn but avoid the flames or stop the crazed goblin. Uh, oh, we're let chaos. Let, let, it let it burn. Yeah, it let is. it burn. You take a step back as the goblin drops his torch, igniting the oil. Flames rip across the floor, engulfing several prisoners in its path. Their shrieks are high-pitched like a boiling kettle as they race back and forth across the room, flames crawling up their backs. Move to another location. Okay, let's take this straight there. Okay. Uh, B2. The rioters... The rioters pour into the room, overwhelming the guards. Warden Mercy ignores the others, focusing her rage entirely on you. Yeah, she arms on. herself with a crossbow that hangs from the wall. Well, she says, at least now I know where your loyalties lie. If you somehow miraculously survive this, perhaps the Dragul will keep you as their pet. She takes aim at your head, clearly hoping to plant a bolt between your eyes. Move the event token. And if you're playing, we're not. So combat, Warden Mercy. And we have a full hand... Like, I think we got this. Looks like someone's a little lost. I'm sitting here just twirling a chain net. <laughs> I'm just like, what do I got? Yeah, I have my pets. Yeah, yeah. My, my leopard and Tepest Fox. I have a turtle and a raven. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I, I do. I know, but it's like, yeah. <laughs> I at least got a leopard. The turtle's like slowly making it land. It's your rat from Gloomhaven. <laughs> it's still way back here. Shows up in his MVP. He'll get, he'll get here. Okay. Yep, so... Yep. Do so we want to guarantee any of these bad boys? I can guarantee you some greens. For a green. Um, Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to con two, so I'm going to guarantee us a green. I'll con two as well. Let's guarantee us a second green. Okay. I'll strength us two as well, so get some red. Red. Um, do we want to warden? Uh, to warlord? But yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, we'll see how this round goes. Cause she only has five. True. That's a joke. Yeah, so we're, we're only going to get one more. That's fine. As long as it's a green or a white or a black, we're good. That's a green. a green. Yeah, so we're fine. Come on, perfect rolls! There's a green six. That's nice. And everything else was ass. Um, we literally like only ever get like one roll. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, I can. Uh, I'll, I, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna negotiate. Hey, hold on. Gather. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna flip that to a three. Okay. Um, let's see here. Green oh, hold on. I'm actually just gonna. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something else even cool. Okay. I'm going to. Turn this into a four. Okay. Cool. Dope, 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 and cool. Um, <laughs> I can do something kind of cool. Do you want to know what it is? Not really. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I guess that's fine. Um, go ahead and pull out a red white. Oh no! I s oh come on! I literally saw it in here, and then I pushed it like to the bottom. Oh, you're such an idiot. Hey, there's a for some reason an XP. In oh there. wait, no, never mind. Don't do it that way. God, you're so stupid. No, I had a better Pete. idea. You're sorry. God, you made me dump out this whole bag. You just did it to embarrass me on my own fucking channel. You're right. You? Yeah, I did. You remember when you had a channel? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neither does anyone else. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Um, I can make that green into a white. Hell yeah. Oh, there's a white five right on top. Uh, okay. Then I am going to play Vibrant. And pull in a green, I and hope. And pull in a black, because that's a black. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, what number does it need to be? One. Okay, uh, I can't help much. Could you ever before? Oh! <laughs> It's a five. How fucking was this about? That didn't even roll. It's a six. <laughs> okay, well, that doesn't help. Well, so here's the thing. No. Um, fuck, dude. Fuck. I mean, can you mess with green? Not really. Oh, well, then why'd you say, why'd you be like, oh, pulling the green, I hope? Um, I mean, we're going to take one damage. I can pull in a black white or re-roll a black. Yeah, re-roll a black. Okay, Is that your third or second? Second. It's a two. Almost a one. Wait, is that a black white or just a black? That's a that's a black. Oh, okay. I didn't look up yet. If it was a black <laughs> white, I could have I could have turned it down one. Oh, yeah, no, because you didn't have me pull that pull the. Well, then just pull it. No, because I already re-rolled. Okay, well then don't then. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna take one damage. I, dude, I just I'm really concerned. Okay. She's like aiming for us, and then we just like <laughs> immediately bob and weave, and it kind of just cuts our cheek as we rush her, and like just fucking. My two, the two that I used are steadfast and cursed raven. So I guess I just kind of stood there black. whenever she shot the like crossbow, and then my raven like pecked at her <laughs> really hard. And your turtle bit her on like the Achilles tendon. I haven't used the turtle yet. So. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, steadfast. Yeah. 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 All right. Did we go. want to use Warlord this nope, time? black oh, okay, one. Cool. Red. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so... You gain the upper hand. With her last gasp, Warden Mercy slumps backwards into the chair. She smiles at you, even in defeat. The rioters begin dismantling the construct bodies of the guards, pulling out the gold and silver components and pocketing them. One of the goblins runs up to you and shares her spoils, placing a few golden gears into your hands. Now, to get out of this wretched prison, Gunder says. Quickly, to the catacombs. We gain two gold. Oh, yeah. Return the title Rioter to the title deck. Return the title Warden's Ire to the title deck. Hell, yeah. Um, and then we reveal title card 41, which I bet I can guess what that is. Is it Warden's Ire Rioter? It's, it, it's Warden's Killer. Oh, is it because we killed her? It might be. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, maybe if she wasn't a chump. Yeah. Which one is, is Var? Or Baz? Frax? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't the know. one on the front of the book. No, that's uh, that's the warden. I don't think that's It is. <laughs> you killed Warden Mercy, but there were no witnesses who would testify against you. All you have to worry about now is your own conscience and the warden's ghost. We're fucking haunted by a Cathandor's yeah. ghost Dude, and fucking a vampire. She's and, arguably way less scary than a demon kobold. Right, so. she just nags us the entire time. I can't believe you told me that story. Was that story even true? How could you lie to me? It's like, oh god, you're so annoying. It was true, but like you didn't really help us. So. Right, it's like, you, you were probably like, oh, an eye for an eye. It's like, how about you just believe me and give us our shit back? Yeah. Return any cards under the Warden Mercy enemy cards to their owner's hand. Heck yeah, brother. I guess we can leave now. So. Uh, yeah. Yep, so we can... Uh, we just go straight to the end. The catacombs, baby. Yeah, but it, it, I think it just said we can... From now on, we just go to the end. I guess. Because it was ended. Yeah. 
From the catacombs, you discover a brickwork tunnel that leads northward under the walls of Kolbak to freedom. Reaching a fork in the tunnel, Gunder parts ways with you, suggesting that it will be best for you both not to be seen together. He takes the tunnel towards Sabic. It's like one of those where whenever you're like holding hands, walking down the tunnel, and he walks away, and it's just like, No. I miss Gunder, you. I miss you already. Let me suck on your fingers. I wish it would give us like a friend of Gunder title. It might. You rest for a moment and let the realization sink in that you cannot return to the capital yourself. You have not yet proven your innocence and are still wanted for the murder of your king. Whatever comes next, your path leads you away from home. If you have either of the keywords truce or unconvinced, reveal title card 40. Uh, if you have the keyword egg, okay, well we didn't get either. Well, we had truce, but we it, it got erased because we um because we because we her. cut her head off. We killed her, yeah. It's like you're you're a lizard and I'm a cat, so whenever we she dies, we ate her. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what did we get? We got Warden's Killer. The brickwork tunnel leads you out to a trail above ground, which leads steeply upwards. Soon you are high enough to look back on Colback. Smoke rises from one of its towers. Many of the prisoners join you on the trail, including the Fighting 87th. Some smile or wave appreciatively as they pass. It seems you have made more than a few friends among the Dragul. In Nalus, however, you are wanted for regicide, and now you've killed Warden Mercy and freed enemy soldiers. No doubt there will be a bounty on your head before dawn. Metal. So then we got... Um... Damn. We did not get that one. Uh... Huh. Uh, I think uh, we could have gotten something if we... Uh, well, I'm not going to ruin anything. Okay. We did get haunted. Okay. You decide to rest for a while against the tree. Just as you settle in your in for sleep, you hear a rustling in the forest. You scramble to your feet and see the spirit of Cathandor standing before you. His translucent body is distorted. Uh, almost beyond recognition, his face transfixed in a silent scream. Good. That's scary. That is kind of, uh, pretty scary. And then, um, Goblin's Inmate. As you continue down the trail, it suddenly occurs to you that the name of Vrax was already known to you. You remember stories of the goblins uh, during the war. She inspired much fear and hatred among the Kingsguard, but also a begrudging respect for her strategies. She was a worthy adversary and also likely considered a hero amongst her own people. Wow. So, conclusion. By dawn, you are many miles from Kolbak. You have not yet seen signs of pursuers, but you know that hound gangs and bounty hunters are already on your trail. Messengers will distribute wanted posters with your name and descriptions across the land. Soon, there will be no place for you to hide. After many miles, the forest gives way to an open land of rolling hills, uh, through which a river snakes its way towards Bogroot Swamp, home of the Frogkin. Common sense tells you that you ought to avoid any civilization, but pangs of hunger and tired feet drive you towards Bogroot in hopes of rest and a hot meal. After all, there are no safe roads now that you are an escaped convict accused of murdering your king. All you can do is press forward. With any luck, you'll stay one day ahead of justice. Alright. That was Adventure 5. The crack in Colback. Uh, so let's see... Neat! We're doing... Uh, I, I, I like the dynamic. Yeah, it's fun. I, I, like what I think I like we're killing it. it. Right? We're doing pretty well. We got 20 XP, that, that go. Yeah. Could have been 21, but it's fine. What are we going to do with 1 XP? Uh, what did we do with 1 XP last time? Yeah, we gave you a health. Who cares? Uh, me. me. <laughs> I, I care. Yeah, just because you're below me. Yeah. I have 20. Because I'm in love. <laughs> so I, it's gonna go. It's gonna work against you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. She's gonna fucking like kill me yeah. at the end. Or possess your body. <laughs> oh well, let's hope. That's super hot. It is hot. Uh, anyway, so that uh, was that. I hope you enjoyed. Stick around for the rest of the series. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Yeah, we're halfway done. But hey, one, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon, and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.